Good day, everybody. It is Christy from OK Keto. So today I'm going to make a keto-friendly cranberry sauce, and this is how I'm going to do it. I'm using six ounces, so half a bag of this Ocean Spray cranberries. I did go ahead and rinse them off pretty well. So a half a bag is in my pot already. I'm going to use this cranberry citrus sparkling water. It's unsweetened. It's the Good and Gather brand that Target is now selling. So I'm going to use half a cup of this. I'm going to use half a cup of Swerve Confectioners and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. This one is Madagascar vanilla. So again, my cranberries have been rinsed off pretty well and in my pot already. So I'm going to add a half a cup of the sparkling water. And a half a cup of Swerve Confectioners. And again, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You could also add cinnamon to this. I've done that before, and it's pretty good. So now I am just going to turn on my heat. I have a gas stove, so a medium flame. And I'm going to stir this for probably about 10 minutes. You just want to stir it until the cranberries start popping open. And that's how you know that it's done when all your cranberries have popped open. It usually takes about 10 minutes like I said. So once that gets happening and my cranberries are done, I'll let you know how long it took for mine to do that. And then I am actually going to let it cool down a little bit and then I will transfer it to a glass dish, put plastic wrap on it and store it in my refrigerator. You can store it in your refrigerator for up to two weeks um, if it's covered really well. And you could actually also freeze this in a, you know, a freeze container that can go in your freezer for, I think, about two months. And if you like to eat it hot, you can always take it out, put it in a pan, and heat it up before you're getting ready to eat it. So I will be back when uh, these have popped open, and I'll show you what they look like and tell you how long it took for mine to do that. So now all my cranberries have popped open. It took me ten minutes. And now I'm going to use this glass dish to pour it in so it'll be easier to see. And the, I'm going to let it sit here and cool down to room temperature before I store it in the refrigerator. And it will thicken up as it cools to room temperature. So as it sits. So I will show you one more time what it looks like after it thickens up before I put it in the refrigerator. And I also will let you know how well it tastes. So there we go. I'll be back when this has had time to thicken up. And here it is at room temperature. You can see it has thickened up quite a bit. Um, I'm about to put plastic wrap on this and store it in my refrigerator. Let it chill for about two hours and then I will take it out one more time and show you. I think using the Swerve Confectioner is the way to go. It's not grainy at all. It is delicious. It is pretty sweet. So I think it's going to be a hit with my family because we do like our cranberry sauce pretty sweet. So uh, again, I will show you what it looks like after it's been chilling in the refrigerator for a couple hours. And here it is once again. I just took it out of my refrigerator. It's been in there chilling for about three hours. This is what it looks like. It is delicious. Um, again, it's on the sweet side, so if you like sweet cranberry sauce, you might want to give this a try. And I really think we're going to enjoy this for Thanksgiving. So, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you give this a try, let me know down in the comments below what you think of it. And have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.